Okay, so 2011, it's the C4 from June. There's two questions. Question three, which is your standard R cos R sine question. So we expand out this side. So it's cos x, cos alpha, and remember it goes to plus, and don't forget your R. So it's plus R sine x, sine alpha. Doing the coefficients of cos x, you've got two equals R, sorry, R cos alpha, and doing the same for your sine, you've got four equals R sine alpha, so one and two. Put equation two over one, so you get tan, giving you four over two, which is two. So alpha is inverse tan two, which is 63.43 degrees. And then one squared plus two squared gives you your R. So two squared plus four squared gives you your R squared. So R is the square root of 20. So your expression, two x, two cos x plus four, sine x equals r cos x minus alpha. Now, part two says, hence, solve this equation. So it equals three, and we're in degrees, not 360. So that's part one. So part two, I just put this equal to uh, three. So I don't use this side, I use the new expression I've just worked out. So it's square root of 20 cos x minus 63.43 equals 3. Bring your square root over and divide. So it's 3 over the square root of 20. Find your principal angle. So it's inverse cos 3 over root 20, which gives you 47.8695 degrees. Using your cast diagram, and I'm going to not 360, so not 90, 180, 270, 360, C-A-S-T. Cost is positive, so it's these two quadrants. So your angles, just make sure you put in your full angle, equals 47.8695, and the other one is 360 minus it, to give you 312.13. Right, bring your minus 63 over to each, and the first one becomes 111, and the next one becomes 376. That is outside the range of 0 to 360. So what I'm going to do to get my second angle, I'm actually going to go around to cast the opposite direction. So in this quadrant is minus 47, so I'm just going to pop that on here. So it's minus 47.8695. When I bring my 63 over and add it on, I get the second angle there of 15.0. Always try to give two answers to those questions. And the last question I've got to do in this paper is question five. Prove your double angle. So sine 2a. So I'm going to start with sine a plus sine b, the expansion formula. Sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. And I have got sine 2a, which is the same as sine a plus a. So sine a cos a plus cos a cos b, which is 2, sorry, that should be an a, 2 cos a sine a cos a, which is what they're trying to prove. And lastly, in part 2, I've got to prove this. So tan a plus cot a. Tan is sine over cos and cot is cos over sine. So I'm going to make the bottoms the same. So making them both cos a, sine a. This one needs an extra sine a on top and this one needs an extra cos a on top. Sine squared plus cos squared is 1. Now, if you consider this formula here, Sine 2a is 2, sine, sine a, cos a. Then you could have sine 2a half, bring that 2 over so the division, cos a. So over here, cos a sine a is actually a half sine 2a. 1 over a fraction, turn it upside down so the 2 comes on top, and that is your right hand side.